everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. And remember, no matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball predictions for this weekend, May the 16th, I'm going to invite you to join and you will have access to this VIP club section with all these great tools to help you make your picks. So let's go to, and take a look at some of these games. That's a full slate of games. We're going to pick five of them to take a look at. So you see all the games here. The first few games here we're not going to take a look at. Cubs, Tigers, Angels, and Red Sox. That's the first matchup we want to look at. The Angels head to Boston last in the American League West, and the Red Sox are first in the American League East. You see that the Red Sox are averaged down at the moment. They have lost their last three, and they are 3-3 three and three over the last six. The Angels are ice cold down at the moment. They, you can see what they have done the last six. They have lost their last two, and they are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Boston is at plus nine. The Angels have dropped from plus 21 all the way down to plus 10. Look at the head to head matchup. You see that the two teams have not yet met. They did not meet last year at all. If you look at the totals predictor to see if you want to bet the over and under, you can see that the Angels are playing in games trending over the line. And the Red Sox are playing in games trending under the line. When you see that scenario happening, it's best to avoid the over and under for that game. Scheduled starting pitcher for the Angels is Jose Quintana. He is 0-3 with a very high 9.00 ERA. The Red Sox have not yet declared their starter. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Quintana has, in general, been a very poor bet at minus $807. Take a look at the scores predictor. You see it up here at the top. It says Boston 8, Los Angeles 4. But you see the confidence in the prediction is only 40%. So take that with a grain of salt before you actually place your bet on Boston. So what I think is going to happen is that I think the Red Sox will actually win the game, though. And they will win it. At home, they are just the better team at the moment. The Mets in Tampa Bay. Braves and Brewers. This is another interesting matchup we're going to take a look at. This one in the National League. The Braves are third in the National League East, and they take on the Brewers, who are second in the National League Central. You see the Brewers are burning hot at the moment compared to average up for the Braves. The Brewers won their last game in three out of their last four. The Braves are coming off of a two-game losing streak, as you see right here. They've lost their last two, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. Oscar Yona is, uh, is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. If you see what his record is, he is 4-1 at the moment with a 2.23 ERA. The Brewers have not yet named their starting pitcher. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see a very small sample size. He is only... A very you know few amount of games, but he has been a solid bet at plus two hundred and forty nine dollars at the moment. Considering the over and under bet for this game, you can see the Braves are playing in games trending way under the line. Brewers are trending in games slightly over the line. I might say to avoid betting the over under because of that, but you might want to go under just because of how most scoring games the Braves have been involved in. We want to look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams this season. You see that they have not yet played. Let's take a look at the scores predictor. The scores predictor shows a Milwaukee edge by a 5-3 margin, but you can see the confidence in prediction is only 37%. Again, it's a very low percentage, so take that in consideration before you make your bet strictly based off of the scores prediction. But what I'm thinking is going to happen is the Braves will come away with a road win. Milwaukee has not been very good at home. And I expect the Braves to get back on track, pick the Braves to win. The Orioles and the White Sox. We're not going to take a look at that one. The A's and the Twins. Rangers and Astros. This is another good matchup. An American League West battle. The Rangers are fourth in the division so far, and the Astros are second. You can see the Rangers are ice cold down at the moment, while the Astros are average. The Rangers have lost their last two. You can see they're 3-3 three and three over their last six. and the Astros have won their last two, and they're also, well, not 3-3, three three, they're 4-2, four two, actually. 4-2 four over the last six. Look at the head-to-head -head matches between the two teams this year. Again, these two teams have not yet met either. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You see both teams have met at 
plus 20. Interesting thing about that was just a few days ago, Texas was way up at plus 28. And at the same time, Houston was at plus 10. So you can see the reversals right there. Now the two teams are even. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that here. The Rangers are playing in games trending slightly over the line. Houston playing in games trending over the line. So there's a good chance to, to win by betting the over. You look at the pitchers for the game. Kyle Gibson is scheduled to pitch for the Rangers. He is 3-0 and with a 2.28 ERA. And Lance McCullers Jr. is scheduled to pitch for Houston. He is 3-1 and with a 3.10 ERA. Take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator. Have these pitchers been solid bets? Well, if you take a look at McCullers, minus $77, so not so great. But if you look at Gibson here, he has been consistently in the positive and right now is at plus $875. If you look at the scores predictor, you can see, though, it doesn't matter what the um, pitcher profit oscillator is showing because look at this. Astros, 8-1. to one. A huge margin with a pretty good confidence in prediction at 65 66%. I don't know if it's going to be that big of a margin of victory, but I do think that the Astros have the better team overall and they will come away with the win playing at home. Reds and Rockies, Indians, Mariners, Marlins, Dodgers. There's one more game to take a look at, and that's this one here the Washington Nationals and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Both teams are struggling in their respective divisions. Washington comes in last in the National League East, and the Diamondbacks are fourth in the West. You can see the Nationals are average stats, and they have lost their last four and five out of their last six. The Diamondbacks are ice cold up. They lost three straight before winning two out of three against Miami, so they are two and four over their last six. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see that the Nationals are way down here at the bottom at plus one, and the, and the Diamondbacks are going up. They're at plus 18. Head to head between these two teams, they have played four games so far in Washington and they split the meetings two and two. Take a look at the Toll's predictor. If you're considering the over and under, Washington well under the line, Arizona slightly above the line. So either avoid betting the over or under or take a little bit of a gamble and go with the under. What do we think is going to happen with this game? Well, let's take a look at the scores predictor. You can see here it's a very slim 7-6 uh, margin for the Diamondbacks according to this. But again, the confidence in prediction is not very good yet. It's only 45%, so it's less than a toss of a coin. I would not take too much consideration with that at the moment. Maybe check back closer to uh, game time and take a look to see if that score has changed and if the prediction confidence has changed as well. So in the end, I think the Diamondbacks probably have the edge by a slim margin and will take this one at home. So that's the last game we're going to look at. Before we go, I want you to take a look at this here. This is the uh, Z Code System giveaway. You can see here the link zcodesystem.com backslash giveaway. You can see it says join Z Code System, massive giveaway, and up to almost $3,500 up for grabs. So take a look at this. Read it, and you could even win a new iPhone worth, worth almost a thousand dollars, or a PlayStation Five worth five hundred dollars, and a whole bunch of other other great prizes. All you have to do is fill out this form and enter the giveaway. So there you go. So take advantage of that. You might be a lucky winner. All right. So there you have it for this week. Enjoy the games, and we will see you next time.